what's up Wixers? welcome to this week's tutorial in this video i'm going to show you how to save calculated data in your wix database using data hooks that means we need to set up a calculator that's going to calculate a field or calculate something and then we, we want to save the calculated value in our database when we hit on the submit button so for example we have a form that is going to collect the user's name the the date of birth and everything but we don't want to ask them of their age because we want to automatically save that age into the database just from them picking the date of birth okay, so this is the tutorial for you don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also hit the like button and check out the description for the link to the code and also the link to this tutorial site right so let's get started before we get started with the code you need to make sure to turn on your dev mode from right here when we're done with that you can see that our code is still here within as we left it before in our previous tutorial you can still make use of this code for your example if you wish to but we're not going to make use of that page code so the first thing we want to do here is to connect our items that we want to save to data let's assume that this is actually a form and we are, we are only going to connect the user's age so the person has to only pick up a date or the date of birth and it's going to be displayed right here and then when we click on the save it's going to save the value from here and also the value or the age of the user so add a data set to do that head over to the plus sign over there to the content manager and then click on add data set when you do that configure a data set by clicking on the settings and select the database that you're trying to connect it to since i have only the age database i'm just going to choose that now change the mode to write only because we're going to submit our data and not just read it all right so next we're going to add our data hook before you can add your data hook you're going to find this panel over here and this panel can only show when your dev mode is turned on when we turn that off it's hidden then when it's turned on it's shown so what we need to do is to click on turn on your dev mode and hover there and you're going to find the databases click on that and you're going to choose the database you're trying to save your items to all right so this is my own item my own database and i'm going to see from the option that i have add or remove hooks i'm going to click on add hooks all right so as you can see i already have an active hook which is the before insert and if you don't have it already just click on the before insert and then add an edit code for mine i'm just going to edit the code when you click on that it's going to display over here at the wix code panel now this will enable us to work between our page code and our data data code now when you click on that you can find that this code is actually saved on your back end which is over here the code files you can find that at the back end code you can choose to rename that or delete that if you want to but i'm just going to leave minus data.js all right now when you click on add an edit code this export function is going to be inserted automatically and you're going to have the name of your database and then you're going to have the kind of hook you inserted for mine it's called the before insert function all right the next thing i want to do is to add the function to calculate my age all right so as you can see it's just exactly the same as what i have my page code over here the only difference is that for the input dates which is the date that we are trying to, to calculate we are actually getting the data from our database so as you can see this is the date picker field key all right so this means that we're going to replace this field key with our date picker which is right over here i've connected this to my database using this data set and i've connected that to the new field date and time field field types now i've also tried to save this item this is my submit button i've connected the click action to submit and added the success message and the add failure messages respectively so we're going to head into the database to find out what this field key is actually so remember that this field is the, the connected field to my date input element let's head into the database so right here you can see that the first one is called the age and these are the examples that i have solved with before this tutorial to check out if it works perfectly now these are the solved fields and they have been saved now this is the date picker element whenever the user chooses an item it's going to save the date and also the time okay so this is the field i'm trying to work with i'm going to get this fields field id which is called the field key and i'm going to copy this field or use this field and display that right over here 
All right, so I'm just going to change this to new field. All right, so this section is all done. So whatever field or whatever value that I have here is going to be used to solve later on. Then I have the input date here. Now the input date here, I'm getting the year from this database or this data field. So what I'm doing here is just to get the year, only the year. All right, and then the next session is called the age variable age and this is going to subtract the current date which is new date dot get full year is going to subtract the current year from the year from our database all right so as you can see this over here is a number field and here i've added all these to be as string fields now take note of this in the later part of this section i've actually assigned another variable which is called new age to the number format of this solution over here all right and the reason is because i'm trying to save my value as number and not as text so when we get back into our database you can see that from this part here our age field type is a number so we need to save our value as number for the date field you can see that that is a date and the time field all right so then i have saved the final value as a number field and the next thing I did was that item.age, this age right here is the field key of the age where I'm trying to save it to. And it is equal to the number or the age being solved. The next thing I want to do is to return the item, which is over here. All right, so that is all, how all you need to do. This is where the, item, the solution actually works. So right here is going to save that after you click on the submit button. So let's test that out and see how that works. So for example, I'm going to choose a year, let's say 2018. You can see that this is three years. Let's click on the submit. Your content has been submitted. Now let's head back into our database to see if that was submitted. Remember the, the solution or the answer was three years. All right, so as you can see right here, we have the three being saved and also the dates were saved as well. Let's try another example. Now we've chosen the dates from 1996 and that is 25 years ago. And when we click on the submit to save that, now let's check if this 25 was actually saved and if this date of 9 12 2021 was saved as well. And yes, that was saved successfully. So that is how you can actually calculate a field using your backend code. Now this is pretty easy. If you're trying to perform other actions, you can go you can go ahead and use this method. All right, so that is all for this tutorial. I hope you did enjoy this video. Don't forget to subscribe and also hit the like button and check out the description below for links to this code and also to this tutorial site. See you in the next video.